Welcome to a video from thegistlifes.com. In this video I'm going to look at the squares from Twinkly. These are a starter kit, so there's six LED multicolour panels in the kit. I'm going to unbox them, set them up and see what we can do with them and uh, see what kind of effects we get. These are supposed to be really really good and really spectacular when you get these mounted on the wall. So I'm going to, let's get it set up and see what we can do with it. So first step is to see what's in the box. A welcome guide. It's one of the panels, so it's got a protective covering on. A very light, actually, as well, so you're going to have no issues of wall mounting this because it's very lightweight and it's got the connectors to connect the other devices and hook eyes so you can put pitch hooks, nails, or whatever you need to, to mount that. Because we've got our six panels. Clips for clipping them all together, which we'll have a look at later. Cables for cable them all together. I'm guessing this is the power supply, UK and Euro. Well, this is a particular UK plug. The adapter and the USB cable, USB C, so it's USB C power brick, and USB C connector. So I'm going to take a look at the instructions and have a look at the what you do first to set this up. So instructions here show me step by step connecting up the first panel to USB chargers. Uh, I'm not going to wall mount it while I'm doing the, the demo video. I'll mount it all on here and maybe I'll look at uh, doing some configs on it on my wall later. Actually, uh, there is actually a template there for mounting for the screws. So this template matches the screw holes on here. So if you was going to wall mount it, I can just put that to there and put the screw holes in, drill the screw holes, etc. Without finding it overly complicated. So straight away, I can see that this one has got the uh, all the space for the connectors. So this is probably the master one, which is the power sockets, and everything else. These are the slaves. So let's get this one up and running first. So I've got that powered up, so I'm going to use the app that comes with it. Okay, so it's asking me which one. I'm going to go with the squares. There they go, it's flashing blue now. Okay, so it's detected it. So do I want to use their Wi-Fi, the, the, the device's Wi-Fi, I use my own Wi-Fi, I'm going to use my own Wi-Fi. So I'm just applying, I've just put the password in for the Wi-Fi, so I'm just applying that now. Okay, as ever with these things, there's a firmware update. So we'll come back after the firmware update. So the next question he's asking me on there is, if I'm planning to add more panels, I am. So I'm going to say yes. So it wants me to unplug them, connect them up, and then continue with it. So I'll pause the video and just do that. So let's have a look how they connect together. I've got the master one here. We've got plastic clips to clip them together. The first thing we're going to do is the actual cabling. So the recommendation is to take one off, say, the side port there. Like that, just pushes, pushes in like that. And then that can go on to the second panel. So let's push this one to there. So now I've cabled up, you use these plastic clips to grip them to clip them together. You can organize these however you want. So you could have well, I've got three by three, but you could have a, a, a row of the six across or whatever you decide. You don't have to even be joined, you can have them loose, you can have them how you want them. Uh, I'm just gonna do six. You know, three by three like that for now, just to keep things simple. Go. So the next step is to map the lights. Let's take a look. So it's going to use the uh, K 
camera to map the lights. That's a pretty cool idea. So first I will say, I'm, so I'm, I'm going to move the camera around actually. Let's have a look. Okay, so I'll move the camera around a little bit there. So first I'll say how bright it is. This room's actually quite bright. I'm going to try and dim the lights later, but that is a really bright panel. I'm, it's a super effect on there. So through the app now you can see I can pick an effect. So let's have a look what we can do with it. We can control the brightness. So we can choose a colour. Actually it's super bright that now when I look at that like that. We've got timer controls and this is also links with um, the smart devices, Google Home, Alexa um, and so on. So we'll have a look at that shortly. So here's a list of effects. So let's try the rainbow one. There we go. And you can edit that as well. So let's have a look at some of the other uh, effects so you can see there's there's loads of them different different versions of it so I've just um actually just adjust these panels around and recalibrate it with I've moved the power socket to the side but we'll see that later so let's have a look at one of the other uh let's have a look at sparkles there we go oh, I like that one so I can add that to the favorites and uh I can say snake that's a good one add that to the favorites and so on so I can choose all these ones from um, from their gallery add them to a favorites I can draw my finger so let's check that out so if I can go there you go and get a cincture on there and get a bit of green on there and look at that that's brilliant you can so you can draw your own pattern on the screen choosing the full gamut colors you can choose so if you're artistic that's brilliant you can really get your own effects on there um, and I can have a thin mode as well let's have a purple one it's purple color let's cross in there and a bit of sparkle to it look at that brilliant so you can be as artistic as you want um, Oh, the other thing, you can import a GIF in there, which is pretty cool. There we go, I've got the Windows 95 GIF that I, I downloaded a set ago. Now, you, of course, you can be more uh, creative than that. That is, is fairly basic, but you get the idea. Uh, and perhaps I'll try some stuff with from that. And if you go to the gallery, there's a ton of those. So I'm going to have to have a few goes with those. The thing I found is you can create playlists. So using the app, you can say which of the effects and you know, see the effects I've got there. In fact, I can choose from all of these effects and I can have them sequenced in 30 second intervals. So at the moment it's on this one, 30 seconds it switches to the next one, like that. So you can program some interesting effects in that. So you can have combinations of, of patterns running. So I really like that idea. So you can go from the subtle sort of changes to um, much more um outlandish changes or um ho however you, you however you want now one other thing i found as well is on something like uh some of the the effects you can actually um sample some audio so that it makes the pattern in time with the audio so it uses your microphone to to generate that um, but that's another good effect so it, it takes the audio that he is and I think it sets the, some of the pattern to that audio. So it's not real time like to your Spotify, but if you play a track, it will then use that to then create that uh, uh, rhythm on the pattern. And then that gets uploaded. As you can see, it's going through the, uh, the cycles every 30 seconds. I think that's a great feature. So what else can we do with this? Well, um, we can set a timer. So it comes on at a set time and goes off at a set time, um, which is great. So you can have as your, your evening light, that kind of thing. And the thing that we've got is the um, Alexa account linking. So let's do that. So that's giving the notification. Alexa, turn off Twinkly. Okay. Alexa, turn on Twinkly. Okay. So there you go, I've got the smart home. So I just applied an effect on there. So that's now that effect is set. There's a night sky one and that'll be saved on there or I can go back and I can apply my um, my Windows 95 one 
which I admit looks pretty rubbish, but you get the idea. And I can go back to my uh, device and I can just uh, change that on there. So I've done a bit more playing around with it and you can see here is a Running Man GIF which I downloaded off the internet and uh, used the little tool to import it in. So it just shows you how you can bring things in like that. Um, I did try some of my website logo which is sounding less successful really but that's my logo and um, I've created some others like these ones as well. So I've done that just through, through the editing tool. If you try and get some too high res stuff it gets a bit sort of complicated but it's pretty easy to to edit and play with your own so I've really enjoyed sort of playing around with some of these and even um, they've got like a store on there. Here's a pretty spooky one for Halloween and there's an actual store which you can download and sort of browse the, the different ones on there. There's quite a lot of different ones that you can choose from and they're just a, a click to install them. Pretty cool actually. So yeah, I like the I like that comment comment one as well. So you can just import these in um and, at, you know however you want and then like I said you can edit them as well. So yeah, I found that really good. So this whole kit costs £249. This is the starter kit which is uh the the six panel set and then you can get extension sets uh, which are £99 for three, so that would make you a nice uh, sort of three by three grid on there if you had another another row across there as well, so I think that would look really effective. I'm very tempted to get another row now, and it would be easy to patch them up. You can see how easy it is with the cables and those plastic clips as well. So thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on thegistlifestyle.com.